Oh yeah, back again with another product review. Uh, today we're reviewing a product from a company that we've not done before. Uh, it's from Bim's Kitchen. Um, now I do quite a, a lot of chilli festivals up and down the country and I do bump into Bim quite a lot. Um, we've tasted these products, I believe you tasted these products at uh, Upton Chaney, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I think it's probably the, the one that you've seen them at. Um, yeah, him and his wife, uh, James and Nicola, Nicola I think yeah. yeah, James and Nicola Bim. Uh, from Bim's Kitchen. Uh, today the product we're reviewing is African Tomato and Tiger Nut Relish. Uh, now Bim's Kitchen's products, the overview of it is a modern, modern African inspired cuisine. Um, straight off, packaging. Yeah, it looks fantastic. It does, yeah. yeah. We were saying this just before the review and looking at it and is absolutely spot on nailed that with the, uh, yeah, it just really pops and vibrant and uh, invites you to have a look at it, really, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. Uh, do you want to do the ingredients? Yeah, the ingredients are as follows. Water, tomatoes, which is 14%, target notch, 14%, demerara sugar, barley malt vinegar, tomato puree, which is 5%, minced onion, minced garlic, sunflower oil, white pepper, ground ginger, angle sea, sea salt, which is PDO, red chilies, tamarind and chilli. That's quite a left field product for us to review this, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah. nothing like we've ever tried before. So. No, and it's uh, suitable for vegans, vegetarians, and it's gluten free. Mm. <clears throat> Bit of blurb on the side suggested uses. Uh, used as a relish with meat, fish, vegetables, cheese, eggs, or tofu. One for Mr. Carl Anderson, the Dole yeah, Bessie blogger. Um, yes. Uh, mix through some cooked curry for added flavour and texture. Add to mayonnaise, natural yoghurt, creme fraiche to create a tasty sandwich or filling. Mix with coleslaw or potato salad for a tasty background heat. I'm not the top off and I'm a schnifter. There's the popping seal of goodness and freshness. Oh, that does smell nice. It smells garlic. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, garlic yeah, first and foremost. Yeah. When you was running through the ingredients, it, sometimes it goes in mm. one ear and, and and out the other. But what I'm getting off there, and I can't remember what you did say. I know we've picked the ingredients out before when we've done reviews, and they've not actually been in there. But it must just be the, the amalgamation of, of of the ingredients that makes it smell like for well, me it, the it's garlic, isn't there? The the smell of it is uh, a spicy smell and that of garlic. It's almost like a nutmeg or uh, like a bit of a cinnamon oh, smell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It smells damn tasty. And looking at the jar as well, not short on measures. You couldn't have crammed any more in if you wanted to, could you? No, definitely That's a good not, sign. No. Oh, that smells lovely. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know what spice I'm actually getting. Oh, right, there's cinnamon on the bottom. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Quite chunky. Isn't yeah, it? it is. Oh, it does smell lovely. Like say, it it's minced. It's very different. It's done in the dark, like, definitely. Great big wadge on the spoon. Um, consistency is quite thick. Uh, that, which I should imagine, is the uh, blitz down tiger knots that, that's in it. Um, it's quite floral, isn't it? Floral, isn't it? Mm. It smells lovely. Mm. Anyway, down the hatch. Mm. Three, two, one. Mmm. Lovely texture. Mmm. That's the problem. I didn't think it was going to be as, as chunky as that. Mmm. No. When you put it onto the spoon and you have a look at it, the, uh, the chunks of the tiger knot do look quite small. But in the mouth, there's um, a good deal of body to it. That's a really interesting taste. Isn't it? Mm. I couldn't pin it down either. The garlic's coming out less in it now, I've tasted it, than, 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 on, than, the than on the nose. Mm. For the suggested uses, <clears throat> first and foremost for me, I think I can see myself having uh, a few ciders, cheers, and uh, having that on a nice strong cheddar uh, on crackers. I think that'd go lovely. Do you know what I'd do? Garlic bread, spread it on top afterwards. Yeah. 
just to finish it off. Either that um, or uh, half of like one of the small ciabatta loaves. Uh, get some nice uh, butter, put that on, sear it on a griddle pan. Uh, yeah, put the butter on and then put that on top to mm -hmm. make an alternative to um, to garlic bread. Uh, but like it says on, on meats as well, I can see that uh, going on gammon, to be honest. Mm. Then that'd be nice. That'd be an alternative. And your bacon sandwiches as well in the morning. Another forky thing, isn't it? Mm. It's not hard. I can't tie down what it is, but I'm surprised because when you have garlic, sometimes there is a bit of a burn, isn't there? I'm surprised there's not the garlic burn in it mm. that you normally associate with. Ah, strange. It's almost like when we tried um, Mr. Vicky's garlic pickle to start off with. Yeah. The old recipe yeah, right. used to be um, used to be very heavy on mm. the almost raw garlic taste. But that's kind of more of a rounded flavour, though it's been cooked down. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of got that. Uh, to me, it's a perfect balance. It's a bit with, less with garlic. Dente, a bit less al dente. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not a raw garlic flavour. No, that's just gone into like the roasted garlic, like mm. borderline. I think, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, a lovely product. That is, yeah, very nice. Yeah, and totally different for us. It's not something that we've. Uh, dip to toe into, is it? I'll tell you what you could do with that, just drifting totally off, is an alternative chicken kiev, stuffing a chicken breast with it mm. and baking it. I think that that'd work well. That's a good idea. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just wrap, um, wrap it in bacon as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like a, a little, a little uh, sort of like hollow into yeah. the into the chicken. And I think maybe some of that with either some goat's cheese or something like that, yeah. just to to put into it, make a mixture of some of that, a bit of goat's cheese, either piped into, um, yeah, like Kev says, a, a chicken breast, and, uh, and bake like that. Yeah, a, a, a very different and a very lovely uh, tasting uh, product. Heat wise. As I say we don't usually do sort of like on the scale of heat, and it is quite a mild product, I would say. So, what would you say on sort of like the heat scale for? But it could be a thing we could start doing <laughs> heat wise. Well, it just gives people an indication. Yeah, yeah. I, two and a half. Yeah. If, if, yeah, if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two, two and a half. That's, yeah. that's bang on. Two and a half. Two to two and a half. Um, Flavour wise, I'd be probably nine, nine and a half because it's interesting flavours. And it's it's yeah. totally different to anything really we've ever we've ever tried before. Yeah. And, and and I think the marriage between the the spices, um, the the taste of the the chili and, and everything else that's in it, it's it's the perfect package, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. it's nice. There's nothing in there that I would say that was overriding each other or yeah, a nice product, a very good product. Mm. So again, that's from uh, Bim's Kitchen, and it's African tiger and tomato. Uh, sorry, African tomato and tiger nut relish. Uh, if you want to get a hold of that, that can be had from www.bimskitchen.com. As always, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll uh, leave one across here now. Um, yeah, lovely product. A good thumbs up. A good thumbs up, yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, thank you for James Bim and his wife uh, for giving that to us at uh, the festival for us to try. Mm -hmm. Nice to have the opportunity. Uh, so, thanks again for watching another review and we'll be back with you again soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.